Hi, I'm Philippe Fernandez. I'm the VP of Engineering at Mozito. For mobile payments to take off in the US, it's going to take several companies to work together. There isn't going to be a clear winner, just like there isn't a clear winner in the credit card space, right? There isn't just one credit card today, or there isn't just one bank, there's competition. Everybody's looking for a single winner. You know, is it gonna be PayPal, is it gonna be ISIS, is it gonna be MCX or Google Wallet? Well, there isn't an answer to who is going to win. They're all going to participate. It's the only way that it's actually going to work. Mobile payments are not entirely a third world solution or developing nation solution. However, they are going to take off in those places first. There is a huge problem with using or bypassing the point of sale system. However, in developing nations, a lot of those mom and pop shops don't have a point of sale. In places like Mexico, Kenya, they have a bag of money and a little notepad to take their, uh, to do their books. So, in that sense, putting a phone in their hands is going to be a lot easier than replacing the, all of the cashiers uh, and all the lanes at a McDonald's or a Walmart, for example. There's this concept that everybody's gotta have a smartphone in order for mobile payments to take off. While that may be true in the US, only because the penetration of smartphones is very high, everywhere else, you've gotta have a solution that works on feature phones, much like you have in Kenya. All right, thanks for listening, guys. Hope to see you at South by Southwest.